In 1894, the geologist Theodore Bent, who after exploring the neighboring areas across Yemen, described parts of the region as sulfuric area and a source of brimstone. Researchers have just made a terrifying discovery in the deserts of Yemen, the Well of Hell, a deep, dark pit that drops 112 meters into the earth. Legend has it that anything entering this dark pit without wings or long ropes vanishes without a trace. This strange discovery is just one of many ancient mysteries that leave us searching for answers. As we continue to dig into history, we find objects and places that challenge what we think we know. Join us as we explore this discovery made in Yemen and other shocking discoveries that will leave you full of questions. Number 12. Yemen's Well of Hell. Deep in the far reaches of the Yemeni desert, far away from the noise and rush of the modern world, lies a sinkhole that's been the stuff of nightmares and legends for centuries. Known as the Well of Barhout, this gaping chasm plunges over 300 feet straight down into the earth, a dark and mysterious pit that's long been shrouded in tales of bad luck and curses. Local folklore paints it as a portal to the underworld, a place so feared that many believe it's best left undisturbed. For generations, people avoided it, whispering about the evil spirits and ominous energies that were said to lurk below. Even from a distance, the sight of the massive hole was enough to send shivers down the spine. But in a bold attempt to unravel the mystery and put the fears to rest, a brave team of researchers decided to take the plunge. Literally, they geared up, roped in, and descended into the dark belly of the sinkhole, ready to confront whatever secrets lay hidden in the depths. What they found was nothing short of astonishing. Instead of a desolate pit filled with darkness and danger, they discovered a vibrant ecosystem buzzing with life. The cave floor was teeming with creatures, tiny toads hopping across damp rocks, colorful birds fluttering in and out of hidden crevices, snakes slithering silently over stones, and other small critters living their quiet lives, completely unaware of the stories told about their home. It was a thriving world, rich with the sounds and sights of nature, a perfect balance of life sheltered in the deep. But it wasn't just the living inhabitants that made the place so extraordinary. At the heart of the cave, breathtaking formations caught the explorer's eyes. Round, smooth cave pearls that had formed over countless years, polished by the gentle flow of water. These natural jewels, rare and beautiful, decorated the cave's floor like a hidden treasure trove, each one a silent witness to the slow, steady work of time. The real magic, however, was above. Four enormous waterfalls, each stretching 150 feet high, poured into the cavern from openings in the ceiling. The water tumbled down with a roaring power, creating a misty, shimmering curtain that sparkled in the faint light filtering in from the surface. It was like something out of a fantasy, a hidden paradise tucked away in the middle of the desert, where water and rock had come together in a dance of nature's purest art. The sinkhole that had once been feared as a cursed pit of doom turned out to be a sanctuary of life and beauty. The eerie legends and sinister rumors couldn't have been further from the truth. Instead, the Well of Barhout stands as a testament to nature's resilience and wonder, a place where life finds a way, even in the most unlikely of places. The explorers who dared to look beyond the myths found not a doorway to darkness, but a living, breathing world, bursting with life, light, and a sense of peace that defied all the old tales. As they climbed back to the surface, the researchers couldn't help but feel they'd been part of something truly special, an adventure that turned fear into fascination and folklore into a new chapter of discovery. Many people do not believe hell is real, which that statement surprised me because I thought all Christians believe in hell, no. but many of them do not. Number 11, the Iron Pillar of Delhi. The Iron Pillar of Delhi is a towering enigma that has left scientists, historians, and curious onlookers scratching their heads for centuries. Standing tall since the early 300s, this ancient marvel isn't just a random relic from the past. It's a scientific mystery wrapped in history, defying logic and the elements in equal measure. Imagine a seven-meter-high iron column that refuses to rust, despite being exposed to the rain, heat, and smog of Delhi for over 1,700 years. While most iron objects would have crumbled into rust long ago, this pillar remains stubbornly untouched by time. This iron pillar that we're talking about today, because it's an iron pillar that apparently doesn't rust. What's more fascinating is that nobody really knows why. 
experts have tested, studied, and analyzed every inch of the pillar, proposing all sorts of theories. Some say it's the unique mix of iron used. Others think it's a protective layer that's formed on the surface over time. A few even believe that ancient blacksmiths had a secret recipe that's been lost to history. But as hard as they try, no one has been able to pinpoint the exact reason for its remarkable resilience. This monument wasn't just thrown together. It was crafted with purpose and precision by a civilization that remains a mystery. Who built it? Why does it stand in the heart of Delhi? The answers are as elusive as the pillar's rust-free surface. Its inscriptions hint at kings and victories long forgotten, but the deeper secret of its anti-rust properties remains buried, just out of reach. It's as if the pillar is laughing at us, quietly defying every attempt to unlock its secrets. Theories abound, and some are as wild as they come. Maybe the pillar is a product of ancient metallurgical genius that knew secrets we still don't. Maybe it was meant to be a lasting symbol of power, built to outlast all that would come after. Or perhaps it's something even stranger, a message left for us by people who understood the elements in ways we can only dream of. But while the pillar stays strong against nature's relentless wear and tear, human curiosity hasn't been as kind, leaving behind marks of human interaction, proof of our urge to connect with things we don't quite understand. We want to feel the mystery, touch the history, and maybe take a bit of its magic with us. Number 10. The Aluminium Wedge of AIUD. In 1974, a routine dig near the Mureș River in Romania turned into something extraordinary. Workers unearthed bones belonging to a mastodon, a giant beast related to today's elephants that roamed the earth over 11,000 years ago. But the real surprise lay buried 30 feet deep, right beside the ancient bones. Researchers just revealed a terrifying discovery that no one was supposed to see, a mysterious wedge made of aluminum, a metal that wasn't known to humanity until the 1800s. This bizarre find sparked endless questions. How could something made of aluminum exist 10,000 years ago? Who could have crafted it? And where did the materials come from? Scientists were left scratching their heads. Do not consider it a historical object that we're used to. We don't know what it was used for. The discovery set off a wave of wild theories, with some leaning into the idea that the aluminum wedge was proof of ancient extraterrestrial visitors. How else could you explain such an advanced material at a time when it shouldn't even have existed? It would be like finding a smartphone in the 1800s. An impossible scenario, unless aliens were involved. Romanian ufologist Florin Gheorghiza was one of the first to claim that the wedge might have come from an alien spacecraft, left behind during a visit to Earth in ancient times. But not everyone buys into this theory. Skeptics suggest the wedge is nothing more than a clever hoax, a fake artifact that has somehow managed to persist over time. Despite their doubts, the alien explanation has captured the imagination of many. Supporters argue that this artifact is undeniable proof, not only that aliens have visited Earth, but that they might still be here today, living among us, hiding in plain sight. In 1995, the aluminum wedge was taken out of public view and locked away in a secret location, adding even more mystery to the story. This is strange. It's, it's very heavy. Chacho, take it, it's, it's, it's heavy. Now, the artifact remains hidden, fueling even more speculation about its origins and the possibility of alien life. Whether you find the idea exciting or terrifying, the aluminum wedge of Ayud continues to be a puzzle that keeps everyone guessing. Number 9. E.T. Tooth Wheel It started like any other day in Vladivostok, Russia. Dmitri, a local resident, was doing something completely ordinary, feeding his fire with chunks of coal to keep warm. Sticking out of one of the coals was a strange metal object, shiny and unmistakably out of place. It looked almost like a tiny, ancient gear, with sharp teeth that seemed designed to fit perfectly with the cogs of a machine. Dimitri didn't know much about gears or metals. He was just an ordinary guy, after all. But something about this discovery felt bigger than him. Curious and a bit puzzled, he took the object to some scientists nearby, hoping they could make sense of what he'd found. When the experts got their hands on it, they were just as shocked. This wasn't just some random piece of scrap metal. It was an intricately made metal bar with teeth, like it was once part of a larger machine. But how could this be? The coal that Dimitri had pulled it from wasn't just any coal. It was ancient, formed millions of years ago, long before any human had even dreamed of building machines. How did this finely crafted piece of metal end up stuck inside something that old? The more the scientists examined it, the stranger the story became. 
X-rays revealed that the object was made almost entirely of aluminum, with just a small trace of magnesium, no more than 2 to 4 percent. That might not sound like much, but this combination of elements is not something you just find lying around. In fact, the quality of the aluminum was so refined, so pure, that it was clear this wasn't just a lucky find. It was once part of something advanced, a machine far beyond what should have existed when the coal formed. The aluminum alloy wasn't even like what we make today. It was stronger, more precise, like it came from a workshop that knew exactly what it was doing. The discovery was baffling. How could a piece of a machine, possibly a gear, get trapped in coal that's millions of years old? Did this metal piece come from a lost civilization that had technology far ahead of its time? Or was it a part of something even stranger? A glimpse into a past that we can't yet understand. Some whispered about ancient aliens or forgotten technologies, but the truth was, no one really knew. Number 8. King Tut's Meteorite Dagger Egypt is full of wonders, with pyramids, hidden chambers, and ancient secrets waiting to be uncovered. But nothing quite captures the imagination like the tomb of King Tutankhamun. Discovered in the early 1920s by archaeologist Howard Carter, the tomb of the young pharaoh King Tut was packed with treasures beyond belief. Golden masks, jeweled chests, statues, and all the glittering spoils of an ancient king. But among all the dazzling artifacts, one discovery stood out as truly mind-boggling. A small iron dagger tucked beside the mummified body of the boy king. Now you might think, what's so special about a dagger? Well, this wasn't just any dagger. It was made of iron, which wouldn't seem all that strange. Except for one thing, King Tut ruled during the Bronze Age, around 3,300 years ago, a time when iron smelting hadn't even been invented. This wasn't just rare, it was practically impossible. How on earth did a Bronze Age pharaoh end up with a weapon made of iron? For decades, the mystery of King Tut's dagger puzzled scientists and historians alike. Early studies in the 1970s and 90s hinted that the dagger might not be from this world at all. The blade's composition seemed eerily similar to meteorite samples, suggesting that it was forged from metal that fell from the sky. But back then, this idea was met with a lot of skepticism. It sounded like something straight out of a legend. Too wild, too incredible to be true. Fast forward to recent years, and technology has finally caught up with this ancient mystery. Advanced testing has confirmed what those early studies hinted at. The dagger's iron is extraterrestrial. It's loaded with nickel and cobalt, elements found in high concentrations in meteorites but rare in Earth's iron. The truth is now clear. This wasn't just a simple blade. It was a weapon made from a fallen star, a piece of the cosmos right there in the hands of an Egyptian king. Picture it, a pharaoh wielding a dagger made from a meteorite, a piece of space rock that had streaked through the sky, blazing with fire and light before crashing down to Earth. The Egyptians, with their deep connection to the heavens, must have seen this iron as a gift from the gods, something magical and powerful, reserved for a king. The dagger was more than just a weapon. It was a symbol, a link between the earthly and the divine, forged from the heart of a star. This discovery turns everything we thought we knew about ancient Egypt on its head. It shows that the Egyptians were not only skilled craftsmen, but also cosmically curious, reaching for the stars in ways we never imagined. Number 7. Yonaguni Monument in 1986, Kihachiro Aratake, a fearless diver, journeyed to Yonaguni Island in Japan. But what he discovered wasn't a hidden treasure or a sea monster. He came across something far stranger, an enormous, mysterious rock formation deep underwater. This massive structure, found about 80 feet beneath the surface, had shapes that seemed too perfect to be natural, with steps, platforms, and even what looked like a pyramid. The site left everyone questioning what could have built it. Could it have been created by humans thousands of years ago? Some experts believe it's possible, linking the structure to an ancient civilization lost in time, maybe even from the Ice Age, but others think it's nothing more than nature's own doing, a result of shifting tectonic plates and erosion. Still, the idea that people could have carved these shapes so far under the ocean is hard to grasp. And then there are the wild theories. Some say aliens might have had a hand in building it, or that advanced civilizations, ones we've never even dreamed of, lived under the sea long ago. Despite the many dives and studies, the rocks of Yonaguni keep their secrets well guarded. The waters surrounding the island invite explorers to search, but the deeper they go, the more mysterious it all becomes. Yonaguni Monument, 
remains one of the biggest underwater mysteries. Each dive raises new questions, pulling us into the unknown, leaving everyone to wonder, was this built by human hands, or could something far more unbelievable be the truth? Number 6. Ancient Gold Airplanes In the heart of Colombia, along the Magdalena River, archaeologists uncovered a puzzling find, small gold figures over a thousand years old that look strikingly like modern airplanes. These artifacts, just two to three inches long and adorned with intricate patterns, resemble tiny jets, centuries before flight was ever thought possible. The discovery has left people wondering, how could ancient civilizations, with no knowledge of aviation, create something so similar to modern aircraft? Theories have surfaced, with some suggesting that these figures were inspired by visitors from the stars, aliens whose spacecraft might have been mimicked in gold. To make things even more intriguing, researchers in the late 20th century built larger models of these figures, and they actually flew. This leaves us with a mystery. Did these ancient people understand flight, or were they inspired by something out of this world? The golden airplanes remain a captivating enigma that continues to baffle and fascinate. Before we move on, here is today's subscriber's pick. Take a look at this picture. Researchers just revealed a terrifying discovery that no one was supposed to see. A mummy found in a remote cave with features unlike anything we've encountered before. With its elongated skull and strange body, it resembles what many imagine extraterrestrials to look like. This has sparked intense speculation. Could this be evidence of contact between ancient civilizations and beings from another world? The mummy's well-preserved state and the secrecy surrounding its discovery only add to the mystery. Authorities are silent, fueling conspiracy theories. Is this proof of alien visitation, or is there a more earthly explanation? The discovery has reignited debates about our history and the possibility of extraterrestrial life. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments. Number 5. Strange Metal Piece in the Pacific Ocean Imagine for a moment that humans aren't the only ones with a curiosity about life on distant planets. What if, somewhere out there in the vastness of space, other intelligent beings have been sending their own spacecraft to explore planets? Maybe even Earth? This is the mind-bending idea proposed by Harvard professor Avi Loeb following an extraordinary discovery deep in the Pacific Ocean. In 2023, a team led by Loeb recovered small metallic fragments from the ocean floor, unlike anything scientists had ever seen. The object was tiny, about the size of a penny, but its discovery caused waves far bigger than its size. After a thorough investigation, Loeb and his team realized the metal wasn't like any material found on Earth. In fact, its composition matched that of another mysterious object that crashed here in 2014. This discovery set off a ripple of excitement and intrigue around the world. Headlines exploded. Could it really be that we've found something not from Earth? Scientists and researchers quickly jumped on board, scrambling to understand what these fragments might be. There's no definitive answer yet, but the only working theory so far is wild enough to capture everyone's imagination. These might be fragments of a flying saucer. If that's true, this could easily be the most significant discovery in human history. However, the scientific community remains cautious. They don't want to rush to conclusions without solid proof, and further testing is already underway to uncover the true origin of these strange, otherworldly metals. Whether this will prove to be the discovery of the century, or simply another unexplained mystery, only time and science will tell. But one thing is certain, the universe just became a whole lot more interesting. Number 4. Extraterrestrial Fossil In 2012, a meteorite fell over Sri Lanka, crashing to Earth in a blaze of light. This wasn't just any space rock, it held something remarkable. Fossilized algae, tiny diatoms unlike anything seen before on Earth. The discovery stunned scientists. Life, preserved in a rock that had traveled through space, suggested that life might exist beyond our planet. This supports the panspermia theory, which proposes that life's building blocks could travel on meteors, asteroids, or comets, spreading life across the universe. Until now, it was just a theory, but these tiny algae give it new weight. Imagine, billions of years ago, Earth was a barren world. Then, a meteorite carrying microscopic life crashes down, potentially sparking the web of life we see today. Scientists are cautious not to jump to conclusions, but this discovery raises exciting possibilities. If life can travel through space, it could be out there, hidden on distant planets or moons, waiting to be discovered. Number 3. Oumuamua. On a regular day in October 2017, 
something truly extraordinary happened in the world of space exploration. NASA scientists, using the Pan-STARRS telescope, stumbled upon something no one had ever seen before, an object from outside our solar system. It was the first known visitor from a distant star system, speeding through space at a mind-blowing 196,000 miles per hour. Initially, they thought it might be an asteroid, but after a closer look, it became clear this was no ordinary space rock. It was likely a comet, but not like any comet we had ever seen. The discovery of this mysterious traveler, later named Oumuamua, was a milestone in our understanding of the universe. This object was about 400 meters long, but what really made Jaws drop was its shape. Most comets and asteroids we've observed are round or irregularly shaped, but Oumuamua was incredibly long and thin, almost like a giant space cigar. It was 10 times longer than it was wide, which left scientists scratching their heads. What was this thing? According to experts, Oumuamua had been wandering the Milky Way for hundreds of millions of years before it finally crossed paths with our solar system. And as soon as the world got wind of the discovery, other countries raced to get a closer look with their own telescopes. What they found was even more baffling. This object didn't behave like any comet or asteroid we've ever known. It didn't have the same brightness or the same color, and it moved in a way that defied our understanding of how space objects travel. Naturally, the strange details surrounding Oumuamua fueled all kinds of wild speculation. Some began to wonder if this could be more than just a random comet. Could it actually be some kind of alien probe sent by another civilization to check us out before their next big move? Number 2. Vanished Empire Along the shores of modern-day Peru and Bolivia, there once thrived a mighty empire that has mostly faded from memory, a civilization whose story remains buried beneath the sands of time. Far too many people today have no idea that such a powerful society existed, but deep beneath the waters of Lake Titicaca, the forgotten history of the Taiwanaku people came roaring back to life in a way no one could have predicted. A team of daring marine biologists decided to explore the mysterious depths of this legendary lake. What they uncovered left them in awe, an underwater world filled with ancient treasures that had somehow stood the test of time. There, lying in the dark, were golden relics, intricate artifacts, and objects rich with meaning, all perfectly preserved as if untouched by centuries. These long-hidden treasures, dating back to between the 8th and 10th centuries, told the story of a people who once called this land home, the Taiwanaku. Among the artifacts were ceremonial offerings, sacred items left in the lake as part of their spiritual beliefs. Stone structures rose from the lake bed like forgotten monuments, silently bearing witness to a civilization that, though long gone, left its mark on history. What made these discoveries even more incredible was their pristine condition. While most ancient artifacts are worn and eroded by time, these relics looked almost untouched. It was as if the lake itself had protected them, preserving the legacy of the Taiwanaku people for centuries, waiting for the right moment to share their story once more. This remarkable find revealed glimpses of their culture, how they worshipped, their traditions, and the deep connection they had to this sacred body of water. And though much of the Taiwanaku's grand empire has been lost to history, these treasures are a powerful reminder of their existence. It's as if the lake had been holding on to their secrets, patiently waiting to reveal the brilliance of a forgotten civilization, one that has finally resurfaced from the depths of time. Number 1. The Baltic Sea Anomaly Back in 2011, a strange and mysterious discovery was made deep beneath the Baltic Sea. A team of Swedish treasure hunters, known as Ocean X, wasn't searching for anything out of the ordinary that day. They were just using their sonar equipment to locate old shipwrecks. But what they found wasn't a sunken ship. It was something far more puzzling. An enormous, circular structure lying 300 feet below the surface. This formation, now called the Baltic Sea Anomaly, measures around 200 feet across, with an oddly raised central area. Its shape and features are so unusual that it immediately sparked worldwide interest, and people began to wonder, what could this thing be? Theories quickly started flooding in, from the reasonable to the downright wild. Some believe it might be a natural formation, perhaps left behind by glaciers long ago, or maybe it's just volcanic rock shaped by the sea over time. But then there are the more imaginative ideas. Some speculate that the anomaly could be the ruins of an ancient underwater city, hidden for thousands of years. Others have gone even further, suggesting it might be an alien spacecraft that crash-landed on Earth 
and has been sitting undisturbed on the ocean floor ever since. Despite all this excitement, no one has been able to say for sure what the Baltic Sea anomaly really is. Divers have explored it, and sonar images have given us a rough outline, but the limited information we have has left experts scratching their heads. Every new theory adds more questions, but no definitive answers. It's like the deeper we look, the more mysterious it becomes. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in our next video.